Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So as you can already tell by the title, we are going to be talking about the new mini Natasha Denona palette, which is the mini Metropolis palette. This is also the eye palette I'm wearing on my eyes right now. I'm going just to give you my quick thoughts about this palette and um, if you're interested to see how um, the how I've done the look and how the eyeshadows um, apply, you can just kind of, that's going to be towards the end of the video. This is the eye palette and I only own two other Natasha Denona palettes and they are also mini palettes and to be honest with you I have not I never was impressed I wasn't impressed with those two mini palettes I own and they put me off buying the bigger sized um, eyeshadow palettes from Natasha Denona so when I saw this guy um, being released and from what I've seen this is basically not a new eyeshadow palette she took two palettes, two of her other palettes, put them in here and then there's also a um, a new shade here as well. So I thought, okay, so she took shades from her bigger palettes, put them into this one. So maybe the actual performance of these shadows will be better than the ones I've experienced so far and maybe the maybe my opinion of, um, of the mini palettes, I mean, of her eyeshadows will change. And long story short, yes, um, I am very impressed with it but just to let you know if you already have so these three shades here they are already in the big metropolis palette this shade here at the end is um in her biba palette and and this is the only brand new shade okay um so i'm just going to quickly swatch it for you so yeah for someone like me who doesn't really own any other palettes apart you know to uh, mini palettes this is a perfect buy so yeah let's talk about how pigmented these shades are they are beautiful they're smooth they're battery when i worked um when i used them on my eyes i was really impressed so um completely different it feels like this is a completely different formula to her um mini eyeshadow palettes i have so we've got the new shade here and the one which is in a biba so that's the new shade and well i'm not sure if you could you can even see that one it gets with my skin tone sorry yeah i'm just a bit pale there you go very smooth very battery like so the other two palettes i have is the um mini retro palette and mini zendo palette and as i said i wasn't overly impressed with them so i have used every shade in this palette so just to let you know this new shade here which is this one here pulls very gray and very cool toned on me this shade here i feel like it's best to be applied with fingers and it has a lot of glitter fallout okay so there's a lot of particles that fell out on uh, on my like my face when I was applying it. But I found it that the best is to apply with a finger. Um, this shade is beautiful either finger or um, brush and it doesn't have as much fallout as this gold one, but it's still, there's still some fallout. The mattes, so they blend really well together. The color payoff is really nice. Um, and the fallout is very minimal. So I am so impressed with that palette. I'm so impressed. That I actually went out and bought the um, and ordered the mini glam palette, the, the one that she's also came out with. Oh, just I forgot to mention with this palette, you also get a tiny brush. I haven't used the brush, so I can't really tell you um, about the brush. Sorry, but uh, the palette. If you if you don't if you have a small collection of Natasha Denona shades and you don't have the Metropolis palette um i do recommend it it's such a nice palette i'm so happy so hopefully you know i'll see how the mini uh the baby glam palette will go as well i will try it out once it gets to me and then maybe i will uh, maybe around christmas i will go ahead and buy a big one of her big palettes when there's gonna be some sales and so on so um i'm very excited i'm so happy i got there because it really has change my mind um and yeah so as i said at the beginning of the video if you're interested to see how these eyeshadows apply 
and how they you know blend and look then just keep watching if not i will see you in my next video hopefully you can see everything well i am filming in natural lighting as always so the only thing i've got on my eye at the moment is a concealer which is not set with anything the first shade we are going to start with is this um, new shade And as you can see, there's just, hopefully if you can see, there's just a very minimal, minimal fallout. I'm going to go and use this lightest shade here. So using the same shade, I'm just kind of going to just blend out the top. I'm going to go ahead and use this green pop shade, uh, kind of like in the middle of my eyelid. I would say maybe like a spot eye-ish. And in my inner corner, I did use this gold shade here, but it kind of didn't really stick well. It just goes everywhere as well. It went like the, the bits of glitter went into my eyes. So I'm not sure if the best thing to apply it. Or that would be better to apply wet or with a finger because with the swatch it looks really pretty applied really well but as you can see it feels to be having a little bit of yeah i think the best thing to do is to do with a finger but i don't know i'm sorry i don't mean to yeah finger is the way to go with this eyeshadow Oh, very yeah, nice. I'm just going to go again with this dark brown shade and I'm just going to place it on my lower lash line. And now just to finish the look off, I'm just going to go ahead with this yellow shade and I'm just going to go and put it into my inner corner so here we go mascara is on and this is the completed eye look um i hope you enjoyed this video found it um helpful and i will see you in my next one so take care bye